is Ruth from my yoga club doing another family yoga slash kids yoga for you to all jump around with. Let me just retie my hair. Today you are going to need a teddy so you can pause this while you go off and get a teddy uh, and then bring it back and come and join back in. Are we ready? We're all sitting nice and tall. Sit with your legs crossed in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. <laughs> Let's roll our shoulders. Can you shrug them up and down by your ears? And the other way. <clears throat> and then we're reach our fingers up to the ceiling. Can you have wiggly worm fingers? Really wiggle those fingers. Take those wiggly worms out to the side. Can we tickle who's next to us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's stretch up. 
Way to the sound, Alison. Hang down line, tickle those toes. Can we jump back like a frog? <laughs> and our bellies on the ground like a snake. Let's push up. Can we look at the sun? And then our bottoms in the air like a dog. Can you wag your tail? Can you bark? And just like a dog. Let our feet jump back. Rip it like a frog. And hang down there, tickle those toes. Let's stretch up high. Wait down. And mountain pose. Good job, everyone. Let's just shrug out our shoulders. I don't know about you, but I'm really worn out. Are you worn out? Let's sit down onto the ground. Okay. So this week, we are going to do some breathing exercises. First of all, we're going to take a big deep breath into our nose and out through our mouths. Good job. Now, can you curl your tongues up like your tongue is a straw? That's it. Can you curl your tongue up and breathe in through your mouth? And breathe out through your mouth again. It's like your tongue is a straw. We're going to breathe in and out. That's a really good way to cool ourselves down. Okay, put your hand on your belly and your hand on your chest. And we're going to breathe in so that our belly moves. And as we breathe out, our belly deflates and gets smaller. Let's breathe in, make our belly really big. And breathe out and make your belly smaller. Breathe in again, big belly, and breathe out. Last one, breathing in, and breathe out. Good job, everyone. Now, next gonna get my bag of toys, because when I do yoga, with children and the family we have a bag of cuddly toys and each toy is a different yoga pose so we got oh, who's this who's this mate a dog he's a dog so can you do dog pose for me let's do down face dog let's get onto our hands and knees and we tuck our toes underneath and lift our bottoms in the air and put our heels to the mat. Shall we lift up a leg and pretend we've got a waggly tail? Can you wag your tail? <laughs> Can you waggle your tail? Good job. Can you lift up the other leg and wag your tail again? Well done. Let's take ourselves down onto our mat. Who else have we got in our bag? Who's this mate? An owl. This is Mr. Owl. And we like to do seal pose to owl. So we're going to come onto our knees and put our hands on our thighs. And you're going to lift up on your knees as if you have wings and say, Toy, Toy, Toy. Ooh, can you pretend you're an owl? Good job, everyone. Well done, Philippe. You look amazing. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. Excellent. Let's see who else we've got. Do you want to pick out one? Mm -hmm. Who have we got? Oh, we've got two. Let's put him back. Who's that? An ostrich. an ostrich. Now, what do ostrich like doing? Putting their heads in the ground. They do like putting their heads in the ground. So let's come up onto our feet. Hmm. And we're going to pretend that we're an ostrich putting our head into the ground. So can you bend over and put your head down by your feet into a forward fold, pretending you're an ostrich. And we can put our hands together on our back. As if we have an ostrich feather tail 
and wiggle our fingers. That's it. In a forward fold with our wiggly tail of ostrich feathers. Good job. Let's come all the way up very slowly. Who is this? Who's this thing? It's frog. Frog. Does anyone know frog pose? Can you guess? I bet you can. Let's crouch down as if we were a frog. Rip it. And you can jump up and down and pretend to leap around like a frog. Can you leap around your front room <laughs> like a frog? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Oh, and let's get back to our mat. Well done. Let's have a look who we've got in here now. Who's this? An elephant. An elephant. Now, I love elephant pose. It's a good chance to have a very good stretch. Let's get up on our feet. Now, elephants are very big. So let's make ourselves very, very wide. Let's take our arms out wide as if we're a great big elephant. We're gonna put our hands together as if that's our trunk. And we're gonna swing our trunk around. And then we'll lift our trunk up high all the way up to the sky. And let's come back down again, swing our trunk around. And then lift up very high, stretch up as high as you can. Well done, you're doing a good job there. Let's look for our last animal. Now who is this? A cat. Do you know cat pose? Shall we pretend to be a cat? Now, a good pose to do a cat is the opposite to be a cow as well. So we're going to do cat pose first. Let's get onto our hands and knees and we'll round our backs up like a cat and we can say meow, mm -hmm. meow. Mm -hmm. And then we can dip our belly and be a cow and say moo. Mm. Can you round your back up like a cat? Say meow, meow. And we can dip our belly down and say moo. Let's round our back and then dip our belly. Moo. Mm. Meow again, meow. And moo. Well done, you did an excellent job. Let's take our feet out very wide and we'll sit on our mat just for a moment. Can you put your toes up to the ceiling? Can you wiggle your toes? Good job. Can you lift up your fingertips to the sky? And we're going to take our opposite hand and touch our toes. And then lift them up again. We'll take our opposite hand and lift and touch our toes. And up again. Well done, mate. Keep going. We'll take the opposite and lift up. And the opposite and lift up. Good job. Well done. Let's take our fingers, our toes, sorry, our soles of our feet together. And we can hold on to our ankles and pretend that we're butterflies. Let our knees wiggle up and down like a butterfly. And I know a story about a butterfly, but it started off when one day a little egg lay on a leaf. So we're going to get very small now and pretend that we are a little tiny egg on a leaf. Can you curl up as small as you can? and pretend that you are an egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun rose up. Let's rise up like we're the sun, spreading our fingers out wide, as bright as the sun. And on a leaf lay a little egg. And out of that egg came a little tiny caterpillar. 
see if you've got a little tiny caterpillar. And that little tiny caterpillar started to look for some food because he was very hungry. So he went to the shop. Get down Dummy. like a caterpillar. <laughs> We're gonna lift up our belt, our bottom, <laughs> and then lift up our head. <laughs> lift up your bottom and lift up your head, just like a wriggly caterpillar. <laughs> now resting, that little caterpillar looked for some food, and he decided he wanted an apple. So he reached out <laughs> and ate one apple. <laughs> but he was still hungry. So he wriggled along. Can you lift up your bottom? And lift up your head. <laughs> lift up your bottom. And lift up your head. And he started to look for some food and he came across two oranges. Can you reach to the side and grab one orange? Can we reach to the other side and grab the other orange and eat them all up? <clears throat> but he was still hungry. So he walked along, lifting his bottom up, lifting his head up, lifting his bottom up, <laughs> lifting his head up, <laughs> until he found all of the food that he needed. And there was a whole picnic of food. It slit up, and this little caterpillar sat in front of a great big spread of beautiful food. And he ate a lollipop mm. and he ate some ice cream mm. and he ate some pizzas mm. and he ate some cherry pie mm. until he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore oh my goodness that caterpillar had a great big tummy and a very sore tummy can you rub your tummy so, that little caterpillar decided he needed to have a rest. So he crawled onto a leaf and he curled up in a cocoon. Do you think you can get your mat or blanket and make yourself into a cocoon? And wrap it around you like you're a caterpillar in a cocoon. Well done. Good job, mate. But it stayed in there for two weeks. We're not going to stay there for two weeks. That oh. little caterpillar nibbled a hole in his cocoon. He got all the way out. Do you know what? He wasn't a caterpillar anymore. What was he named? A butterfly. He was a beautiful butterfly. I want to see your beautiful butterfly wings. I want to see your wings in the sunlight. Let's stand up. We can be butterflies around our room, can't we? Fly around our room. Oh my goodness, you're such a beautiful butterfly, Philippe. Well done. Thank you for joining me in that story. Now it's time for our relaxation. And if you have your teddy, you're going to grab him now and you're going to lie down onto your mat. If you lie on your back and we're going to put our teddy on our tummy and you're just going to rest with your hands beside you just like Nate is he's resting on his back and he has the teddy on his tummy and you're breathing very gently in and out through your nose now our teddy is nice and happy now Tommy, it's a bit like he's being on a boat in the sea and we don't want the waves to be so choppy that the poor teddy falls off our belly and into the water. We want our breath to be nice and even and slow so that our teddy is all calm and all happy and we can lie like that for as long as we want trying to keep our teddy nice and happy in the boat on the sea breathing very slowly until our teddy falls asleep with us now you might want to lie there for a bit longer 
but it's time for us to get up and wake up. So we're going to stretch our fingers all the way up high and give a big yawn. <gasps> and you take your arms out wide and give yourself a hug and a big yawn. <sighs> Let's all stand up together. Well, if you have your brother or sister with you or your mum or dad or someone in the house, you can hold hands. But don't worry if you don't, you can just swing your arms beside you. And we say, we all stand together, we all support each other. And we have a little jump. jump. Let's say that again. We all stand together, we all support each other. And jump. Can you clap your hands together and say the magic yoga word? Namaste. Thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the yoga with my yoga club and I will see you next week. Thank you.